welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tag video called the What Should I Read Next tag which was created um, by April over at Getting Hugger With It and um, April very kindly tagged me in it and I love the sound of it and I believe that it's based off of um, some podcasts done by Anne Bogle where people tell her books that they have enjoyed reading and then she recommends books to them. So the premise is that I tell you three books that I've loved one book that I've hated and what I'm currently reading and off the back of that you guys give me some recommendations on what I should read next. So I was tagged in April's video and I will link to that in the description box down below and if you're interested the three books that I recommended to her were The Storyteller by Jodie Picoult, The Dove Keepers by Alice Hoffman and um, I'm Travelling Alone by Samuel Bjork. So on to um, my books because I can't wait to get your recommendations so let's just jump straight into it. So I tried to pick books that had a little bit of diversity to them but I actually realised that the books that have stayed with me and the books that I have loved the most all have very similar components so um, I'm hoping that that won't make it too boring but um, I would love to hear your recommendations anyway. So the first book on my list of books that I have loved is Station Eleven by Emily St John Mandel. This is post-apocalyptic and I only just recently finished reading this and it is already, I know, going to be one of my favourite books of 2017. I loved the setting, I loved the character development, I loved the fact that it was so bleak and yet it was filled with hope so I really enjoyed the themes in this book and the way that Emily St John Mandel explored humanity and the things that we need. Um, so yeah, I just really, really loved it. And I also loved that it wasn't huge and that it was a really quick read. And although I was disappointed to finish it, um, I appreciated that it didn't take me forever to get through either. The next book on my list is Hood by Stephen Lawhead. This is book one in a Robin Hood retelling. And the things that I love about this book, and I could have picked any of Stephen Lawhead's books for this, um, I love the Celtic and the Gaelic um, influences that he puts into his stories. I love that it's a mixture of fantasy and historical fiction. I particularly love about this one is that it's a retelling of a very well-known myth. Um, and I love his strong character development. His writing is very lyrical, his writing is very mythical, um, and he has really strong characters in all of his books, which I really love. And I'm going to say this probably about every book that I say that I really love, but character development more than plot is a real win for me. Obviously, it's better if there is something happening, but characters that you can really fall in love with, characters that you can really get hooked by, that really for me is just perfection. And the final book that I have loved is going to be no surprise to anybody who has watched any of my videos because I bang on about this duology all of the time and in fact to everybody in real life as well I bang on about this duology all of the time and that is Crooked Kingdom by Leigh Bardugo. This is a fantasy book and the thing that I love about this again is the characters but about the characters is the fact that they are morally ambiguous and there are a whole load of grey areas when it comes to these characters and they are the bad guys in society basically. They're the ones who are in the underworld, they're the criminals and the thieves and the betrayers and yet the way that Leigh Bardugo creates their stories, the way that she creates the world is that you can't help but root for them and you can't help but fall in love with them and you can't help but want for them to get their happy ending almost um, and this book by far is one of the most solid conclusions to a story that I have ever read and I desperately want her to write another book with these characters in. I was gutted when it was um, revealed that it wasn't going to be a trilogy but just a duology but again a fantastical element, a really interesting magic system but really strong characters and more and more I'm finding that I love grey areas. I love characters who are not squeaky clean, who aren't necessarily the typical hero in a fantasy scenario but who have a little bit of darkness in them and a little bit of shading in them. Um, that's actually really what I look for in my fantasy books now. Um, not so much in contemporary, but definitely when it comes to historical fiction and fantasy. I like those characters who walk just slightly on the wrong side 
of the line um, that definitely ticks the boxes for me. Okay then on to the book that I hated and I honestly can say that I hated this book. I don't even have a copy of it. I got rid of it. It's one of the only books that I've ever DNF'd. I just couldn't get on board with the concept, I couldn't get on board with the vulgarity and that is The Slap by Christos Chalkas. I just despised everything about this book. It's a contemporary set in an Australian suburb and the whole way that he described society and the way that he'd chosen to um, depict women and their roles and men and their roles and just everything. I thought that the concept sounded so interesting. It was looking at exploring the repercussions when somebody else slapped somebody else's child, basically, and the fallout in the community because of that. And I thought that it sounded like a really solid and interesting contemporary read, but it was just really vulgar. Um, I didn't, I couldn't get on with the writing style at all. Um, and I really like books that challenge your perception of things and challenge your automatic reaction to something and I really thought that that was going to do it for me but it just fell way way short of the mark. Okay and then the final one is what I am currently reading. So I am currently reading Half of a Yellow Soda by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie and I'm slowly making my way through uh, Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie's books. I read Purple Hibiscus in 2016 and I love of books with um, an exotic setting or just a setting that's not typically westernized. Um, I love discovering about different cultures and I love reading um, kind of almost own voices style stories so this is not an English writer writing about um, a different culture this is someone who has actual experience of that culture of those countries writing about them and you get a real authenticity in those books um, which I don't think is quite captured. Sometimes it is but not always, it's not always captured um, when people are trying to write about something that they don't necessarily know or that they haven't necessarily lived. So yeah this is about Nigeria in the 1960s, it's about um, various characters during the Civil War. Again really strong character development but quite it's not contemporary but it's not really what I would class as historical fiction either but the thing that I like the most is the setting of this book and the fact that it is um, about a slice of history that I wouldn't necessarily have come across before but is interesting and important to read about nonetheless. Okay so there you go you have three books that I love, one book that I hate and what I'm currently reading now um, and now as I understand it you guys will leave some comments and let me know based off my favourite books and the books that I didn't like some recommendations of books that you think that I will like and then I think I also have to tag some people so I am going to tag Jordan from J Bookish because I just today watched her Netflix book tag video and she said in that video that she doesn't get a lot of recommendations so this is a perfect opportunity for her to get some more recommendations um, I'm also going to tag Tina from Never Ending Bookshelf because she reads a lot of good fantasy books and I'm always interested in watching her videos about what she's currently reading um, and then finally I'm going to tag Krista from Book and Jams because we have a very similar reading taste I think and I'm super interested to know the books that she will pick for the three books that she loved. So there you go, that is my um, what I should read next book tag. I hope you enjoyed watching, please don't forget to give me the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more videos and um, don't forget to leave me your book recommendations and I will see you all soon.